Hi there, my friend and friends. Did you know it's incredibly easy to select ranges of content with CSS? I recently used it on a video to place a whole bunch of images uh, on a grid that we can see here because I could have selected each individual one and placed it where I wanted it to, but it's a lot easier to select ranges of content and get them on the rows or columns that you want. And just to simplify things, I'm gonna use this demo here instead just because um, it's easier to visualize when we have colors instead of every image looking exactly the same. Um, and we're gonna take a quick look at how you can do ranges of content Content. We're going to start with using nth of type uh, that we're going to see a drawback with nth of type but then a solution uh, that we can use with the new nth child syntax that we have that not a lot of people know about. So here I just have my boxes that are these red things here. You can see they have the border on them just so we can help visualize like I said. Uh, and let's come and we're going to say box and we're going to do an nth of type and you might already know if we can do like a 2n. And if I do a 2n then we can say that my border color is going to be a, a different color color. So here I'm just going to do uh, a lighter shade of blue than we have on the outside. Um, and you can see that those have changed them because we've selected every second box and it's changed the color. Or I could make this a 3n and then I'm choosing every third box and I'm changing the color of it. Now let's say you wanted to select every element in this column here. That could be a little bit tricky but we could just do a 4n to select every fourth one but then we can tell it to start counting from the second one. So we're starting at the second one and then we're going one, two, three, and then the fourth one. One, two, three, and then the fourth one right there. So we're selecting that entire column. I wanna make it the last column, I just do to the starting at the fourth one. I wanna do it from the first, I just do a plus one and it moves over to the beginning. Now this isn't really a range of content, I realize that, but we're gonna get there in a second. But this idea of being able to select a specific column is going to be really important for what we wanna do here. Because what we can do is, instead of doing every fourth one, we could actually say, n and then say plus two. And that means we're gonna select every element starting after this, because this is like same as one n. So we're selecting every element, but starting at the second one, or we can say starting at the third one, or we could say starting at the fourth one. And then we're selecting every element from that point forward. But with CSS, you can also do this backwards and you can do that with a negative n or a negative one n. And then it's gonna start counting from the back. So we're starting at the fourth one and then we're counting backwards and going the other way. So you can actually select preceding siblings this way, which is kind of interesting as well. So starting at the fourth one, counting backwards. And if I wanted to go from the sixth one, I could start at the sixth one and count backwards from there. So go to the sixth one and select everything that comes before it. And where things are really interesting here is you can combine these two things together with two different nth of types. So we can say that we have an nth of type as well that's going to be a n plus three, let's say. And so we're going to match anything that starts at the third one and ends at the sixth one because we have to meet any box that meets both of these criteria. So it has to be anywhere starting at the third one, going all the way to the sixth one. We get a nice range of content there. I think that's really cool. Now, why would this be useful to do? Well, if we look back to when I was setting up the grid here, I needed to position images in a specific way on the grid. And so to be able to do that, I was just selecting from the first image, going all the way to the fourth one, and I could select that entire row of images. And then I could select the next row of images that I wanted, and I wasn't changing border colors. I was putting them on specific uh, grid lines to be able to do this just because of how I had everything set up, but then I could start at the fifth one and five, six, seven, we could go all the way over to the eighth one. And let's just uh, change this blue. I don't have a variable set up for green, but we'll, we'll just change it to green so we can see that we've set that up. Uh, and then if I wanted to select those ones, I could do it as well, going from the ninth, 10th, 11th, and up to the 12th one. Now there is one limitation of this, which is if you come in, and this is just a limitation of how nth of type works, and I'm gonna come on this one here, and I'm gonna call it not a box. <laughs> not a box, because we're gonna make the, the sixth one not a box. Uh, and you can see I have some styles set up, so it's spanning two, and we, we've rounded corners to make it um, it's not completely a box because we have round corners on it, right? But this screws everything up because now, as you'll see, it's selecting this one down here, and that's just because of how this is selecting different ranges of content, where it's selecting it based on the, you know, it's looking, is the box the fifth of type? But when we say of type, we're actually saying the fifth div. Uh, so this one is a div that happens to be a class of box that is meeting the criteria. This one isn't, so it's skipped over. This one is, and this one is as well, even though it's not really the box that I want it to be in a way. So I'm gonna comment this out um, so we can explore another one. Just to say right now, if I change these from nth of type to nth child, um, it would work exactly the same basically, just because we only have these things in here. 
obviously nth of type and nth child are a little bit different. So if I had other content, um, you know, something that came first, nth of type would probably be what I'd want. So generally I tend to use nth of type for this type of thing where I'm selecting this, but nth child would work the same way. But let's say we did box um, and we're gonna see, because nth child does have one thing that nth of type can't do. And that's what I want to explore here. So let's say I want to select these two here and th this column here. I want to select my second column and my fourth column. Well, if I said nth child to n, uh, and we can see this, uh, let's just do a border color of green on here so we can see them. And it's gonna select every second one. The problem is that throws everything off. And if we did this with nth of type, it would be the same thing. Nth of type, we're gonna have the exact same pattern coming on there. I'll just make it yellow so we can see that it um, it's still working. So with either one of these, it's not gonna work. But if we use nth child now, I can say nth child to n of box. And it's only going to select the second of each box. So it's not selecting this one, we're getting the second box. Not that one, the third box. Not that one, this is the fourth box. Not that one, the fifth box. Not that one, the sixth box. Every second box. So we're, we're skipping this entire thing as one element um, rather than skipping the way it was here where it was doing, you know, it was counting this sort of as an element, but then that didn't meet the criteria. So it was yes, no, yes, no. And then this is no, but just because it's not the right element, but it doesn't count, so we're, we're getting to the negative here as well. So just every second one, but it's not the nth child, so it's not matching. So I'm just, you know, we can do of box now, and we can actually select things based on their classes as well. And there's a whole bunch of possibilities that do open up. Just know that the this is a lot newer, so the browser support isn't as good. This, you could, these types of ranges that I looked at first, those you can use anywhere you want, no problem at all. I'll link to can I use in the description if you want to check browser support of this syntax that we see right here, though. Now, if you're are interested in seeing a bit more and how I did this where it's you hover over the name and it, it highlights the the person or if I highlight the person it also highlights their name as I said I did a whole video on this and it's with CSS only no JavaScript involved really actually surprisingly easy to do uh, so if you'd like to see that video it is right here for your viewing pleasure and with that I would like to thank my enablers of awesome Andrew Simon Tim and Johnny as well as all my other patrons for their monthly support and of course until next time don't forget to make your corner of the internet just a little bit more awesome